Hey guys, I'm going to go to a flea market slash antique show, so we'll see what happens. Let's do it. Alright guys, so I'm done with the flea market antique show, and I actually got a few things. Most things are like really overpriced at this thing, but you just gotta find the one or two vendors. So, I don't know if this is a good buy, but I was intrigued. These are some really interesting looking figures and toys from the 90s. Um, he wanted 25 for the bag, but he took 10. And it was kind of an impulse buy. It's one of those things where it could be a decent buy. It might not be. For 10 bucks, I was willing to take the risk. All right, and then I got a Yashica Electro 35 with the 45 millimeter lens. That was five bucks, and that's going to be worth at least 20. They go from anywhere from 20 to like 40 on eBay. So good buy for five bucks, and then from that same person, I got this Polaroid which is in really good shape the 660 Sun 660 and it's got the nice little case and that was also five bucks so that's a decent deal and the Game Boy uh, I had to pay up 50 bucks for the whole bundle showed this one live the good thing is I was able to test the Game Boy because it has batteries in it. He was asking 60. And it's in good shape. It works well. There's no like missing pixels or anything. So, eh, not too bad. It's a guy that I already have a good relationship with and he kind of looks for stuff for me. So I like to buy stuff from him when I can. Even if I'm only going to make a few bucks on it. But Super Mario Land was included. Tetris. All-Star Challenge 2, and I like these game cases, Space Cadet Adventures, Marble Madness, Ooh, Tetris Attack, had that on the Super Nintendo, pretty fun game, and Dr. Mario, so this person was really into their tetris -y games, puzzle games, and yeah, it was a pretty decent stop, it was worth the trip. So I'm happy I could take you guys along with me. There's definitely a lot of interesting sh stuff, and uh, yeah, it was a good, good little stop. Off to the pawn shop. Let's do it. All right, I am done with the pawn shop, and got some pretty nice scores. We'll start it out with Ace Attorney, Justice for All. This one was uh, $4. And it is complete. Beautiful. Fire Emblem Awakening. Amazing score. $8. That's how much their 3DS games are. 
And then I asked if they'd do four for this one, Puppies 3D, and they took it. So, pretty happy about that. And Folklore on PS3 complete, six bucks. So, amazing deal on that one. Nice little stop. I love pawn shops that have flat price games. That is just so exciting because if they got a good one, then you're getting a good price on it. So, love going to that pawn shop. We'll go to a couple more Goodwills and I'll take you guys with me. Alright, so that was a pretty decent Goodwill stop, and I picked up Chronicles of the Sword. It is complete with all the discs, the manual, two discs in the manual. Got Spyro Enter the Dragonfly on GameCube, awesome score for four bucks. Complete. Bard's Tale. This one's right on the line, but it was complete for four bucks, so decent deal. And then we got Turok on the GameCube, also complete for $4. And this sealed DVD, Wiki, that was $2. Should be worth between 10 and 15 bucks since it's brand new, so not too shabby. Nice little good little stop. Uh, let's continue. Alright guys, that's it for today. I got a Polaroid camera, $1.99. It is the one-step Polaroid LAN camera. Got the Namco plug and play. Love these things, $2.99. Looks like it'll probably work. And then this Vivitar camera, which is actually pretty crappy, but it was $2.99 and it's selling uh, Amazon Prime for $19.95. So I walk out with about 12 bucks after that sells. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, it's a lot of fun making these videos. I appreciate it taking you guys with me. Let me know what the best Goodwill find you ever had was. I would love to hear about it. I think my best Goodwill find that I recently had was... Um, the Pokemon cards from the Goodwill Grand Opening, which was actually this store. Um, first edition Shadowless, there were like 40-something with a Mewtwo, Hollow, and just some really awesome cards. That's definitely up there for one of my best finds, so let me know in the comments. Mm -hmm.